Brock Zivan is in the house. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today, man. Um, it's been what up, buddy? How we doing, man? <laughs> how we doing? It's been such a pleasure to know you, brother, over the last year to speak on stages with you, and also to watch you speak on massive stages across the United States. And I'm so excited that you're joining Impact Effect 23, and I'm super, super excited to share with everybody some nuggets, a little bit of information on what you're talking about, um, and give some teasers to some people. So I'm going to rifle some questions at you, brother, because hey, I know some of these answers because we're friends, but there's some stuff that I don't know. So I'm learning with everybody today, and I'm just excited to have you be part of Impact Effect 23 and I'm excited for you to share your knowledge, your story, and your history and sales, man. Like, I, I know you've built massive companies in the real estate world. You're building another company now with VAs, and that's taking off. And you're coaching people. You've got an amazing coaching business. You throw events yourself. Like, you're doing so many things. You're impacting so many people. So let me start with this. What drives you to do these types of things in this world? Well, first and foremost, thanks, buddy, for having me on here. Um, just being able to be in these rooms, and and I'm really, really excited about the event. I know October is a key time period because we're preparing ourselves for the new year. So I'm excited, blessed to be able to be here and to be able to speak and just be around energy like you. You know what what drives me, what keeps me going. I know it's a cliche because a lot of people say this, but to me, it really is my children. Um, I have a son, Bryce, and my daughter, Brielle. She's 11. He's five. But I've been through challenging times in my life. I'm, I'm a seven-year recovering alcoholic. I went through addiction, and I still deal with it. But, like, my kids impacted my life at certain parts. I know God put them on in a season of what I was dealing with, with my drinking. And then Brielle was born, and I had to create a why because if I kept drinking, I would have lost her. And then Bryce was born five years ago and I lost my real estate license to an embezzlement and my whole financial world fell apart. But then Bryce was born. He was three months old and I had to find another why to keep me going. So literally, I never want to let those two kids down because they are my everything. And they just they just happened in my life at the exact same time that I was having the worst moment of my life. And it, it just they really, really drive me and move me and motivate me every freaking day. I love it, man. I love it. And I can hear your passion and I can hear the authenticity. And I know you, right? We've spent a lot of time together. So I just love the fact that you're so committed to helping others. And what gets you up and motivates you is the family piece of things. You know, mm -hmm. there's something different about you than a lot of people, Brock. And I want to talk about this as well. You're wired different. And I know you hear this all the time because I've been on stages. I've been in your circles. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that means to you and give everybody a little bit more information on what I mean when I say you're wired different? I don't, I don't accept no. Um, I'm very, very relentless. Like I will, <laughs> like I will not stop. Like my daughter, Brielle, she'll ask me a question and I'll just be like, well, maybe, oh, well, that means yes, dad. I said, what do you mean that means yes? Because you don't like, there's no ever no. And maybe just means yes, just not right, right yet. And she just will keep asking me. But that's the same mindset that I have. Like, I will continue to move on. Like, I just, I just don't accept failure. Like, I might fail at something. And no, I, no, I might, I will fail at something. But I don't let it get the best of me. Because of being at the rock bottom of so many times in my life, I made myself like I'm here, I'm alive. Like, so, like, when I'm wired differently, I think differently. I don't accept what you told me. And sometimes I have to. Even my closest family members, my mother, they'll say something because they're, they're, they're here to protect me. But the thing is, the impact that the mindset inside of you, to be able to keep on, keep going on is something that just influences me in so many different ways that I just, I don't, I, I wasn't wired this way. I had to reprogram myself because when you're an alcoholic, like you just think of selfish needs. Now 
I want to just help as many people because I've given, I was given a second chance to be able to help people make an impact in their life because it could transform your freaking entire life by just making a couple right decisions consistently over time, the compound effect. And I've learned to wire myself in that type of mindset now. It's amazing, man. That's amazing. So you talked about mindset being super important. Can you tell us some skills and actionable items and techniques that you're going to share with us at Impact Effect 23 in October? So the one that really, really like people do right then and there when I'm speaking and, and is literally I tell you to take out your cell phone, take out your cell phone. And I tell you, like, listen, go to your alarms because there's no police. There's no police out here that are going to tell you that you can't have too many alarms on your cell phone. And I have an alarm Monday through Friday that goes off from eight o'clock every hour till six o'clock. And during that hour, during that time period, as soon as it hits, I either say a quick prayer. I say a quick motivation. I do a self check. Am I supposed to be doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? What am I doing? Maybe I have to go for a walk because it could be something so crazy going on, but it brings me in because In the morning, when you're by yourself, there's not a lot of distractions. So it's easy to stay on course. It's as the day unfolds and as things start to happen and you go sideways and distractions elevate, we can't really stay focused as much. And so that brings me in. And so I tell people, if you don't want to have that many alarms, do a 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and a 6 o'clock. Do it every three hours. But it's the easiest way to really self-check on yourself when we know things and the temperatures rising and distractions are rising. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. It's been very helpful for me too in my career and, and how I've used it. Talk to us a little bit about sales. What are you going to be teaching us from a sales perspective at impact 20 effect 23? So in talking about sales, it's one of the biggest things that I've learned after doing this for 15 years in the real estate world specifically, but I've, I'm writing a book called Turning Scripts into Conversations. And it's not a book just for real estate agents. It's really for all entrepreneurs across the, the country, anybody who's trying to sell something. But really, there's even another level to it in your personal life, dealing with relationships, your kids and everything else. And so I created this formula. And this formula is from different people, some, some professors, from different motivational speakers, coaches all across the country. And I put it into my own words, my own way of being able to how to win at conversations. Being a football coach, I always want to win. So how do I win? How do I take keep the, keep the conversation going? And so what I'm going to be teaching you is my formula and how to be able to engage with people to impact their life. And you have to continue to do that through a set of questions using people's personalities. And so I studied the disc personality, which is through Tony Robbins is somebody that I really studied and looked at. John Maxwell is another person, but these ingredients are so very important because most people, I believe that once you understand yourself, then you can start to analyze others. Of course. But many people across, we don't, we just don't understand ourselves. We don't know who we really are. And so we do it. I do a deep dive, help you understand who you are. And then we set up, we create questions to be able to dive deeper, to pivot, change, and to be able to create higher in conversations that can convert sales at a higher level or convert conversations at a higher level. So you brought up conversations, you know, at Impact Effect 23, we believe that you're one conversation away from changing the trajectory of your life. In your life, Brock, Can you tell us a story about one conversation that you've had that's impacted your life and changed the trajectory of your future? Hmm. Man, that's a really good question of like, of, of the impact that I've had of, of somebody's conversation within me. And because I've, I've had several rock bottoms in my life, sometimes it's hard to really pig back like to really focus on on one itself but one that really separated me actually he's one of the speakers here today coach Bert and and you were part of that Jim because you and I met each other on the stage at this but I really I really didn't believe in myself 
I really, I was going through the process. I was going through the steps in AA. It's like we go through the emotions, but if you don't want it bad enough and if it's not inside of you, it's not going to happen. And so like, I just, I didn't really understand where I was. And I was just, I was going to, uh, I was going to events, but it was the one conversation I had it was actually coach Burt. Yeah. And he, he hugged me and he says, you belong in these rooms, man. I was like, I do. I really do. And so I started to believe in myself at that moment. And then when I met you and you jumped on stage before me, I was like, man, if he could do it, I could do it. But then when we <laughs> had the conversation and we started to evolve, I was like, man, I believe in you just as much as you believe in me. And the belief within inside of us started to grow at a level that just wasn't existing in my life. I see, I can pray all day. I can do everything under the sun. I can go for walks. I can talk to people at the gym. I can talk to my kids. But until I decided to believe in myself and having that one conversation, and it was a less than a 10 second conversation I had with coach Burt and it impacted and transformed my life to this day of all the people I've met and you and I, I mean, look at where we are today. It's just amazing to me of the impact of just this one simple, small conversation can elevate and separate you for the rest of your life. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. I, I, I'm with you, brother. I think, you know, that's, that's the core reason why I'm putting this together and playing at a larger level because of that exact situation. Um, and I'm just, I'm glad to be part of your conversation that changed who you are and how you operate. And you've done amazing things since that. And your level of confidence has continued to grow. And, you know, I look up to you for that. Right. And I think that, you know, that wouldn't have happened if that conversation didn't take place. Cause you've probably heard this before a million times, right? We all have like, you're worthy, you're good enough. But to hear it in that moment, in that time, in that season that you were in, what sounds like it was extremely impactful. And that created a lot of change that happened immediately after that conversation. So we're looking to replicate that for all of our guests and attendees because we believe so much in that. And that's my personal story. I was in Long Beach, California at an event over a year ago, and I heard something that allowed me to make immediate change and impact. And it changed my entire life in every way, shape or form. So mm -hmm. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Um, and it happens why... when you least expect it too, man. Like that's the thing. Like when you, when you walk into these rooms, one is you got to be open. You got to be open-minded when you walk in here. Don't be closed-minded when, you, when you're in these moments, because when you have this many people in a room, with this high level of thinkers, they think differently. You said to me, I'm wired differently. You can be in a room with a lot of different people who are wired differently. And that's when you, when you start talking to them and engage with them, don't sit back on your cell phones. This event you're doing, Jim is phenomenal. The leaders, the speakers, everything you've done with it. I'm like, I can't wait to be in this room because I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it with you. I have seen it with many people. I've been to many events across the country and they always go back to like, they can, there's a defining moment it's called. And they're like that person, that conversation. And it doesn't have to be long because all it matters is what's up here and what's in here. Because once that emotion hits, it's, it's, you're off, you're off and on the road, you're on a totally different level. So obviously you can have that change of mindset. You can understand and perceive things differently what are some things that you're going to help people along the way once they make that transition? So you're speaking at Impact Effect 23, but can you tell us if someone's in that room and they're hearing things differently, how can you impact them with what you're going to talk about? Well, it, 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 it's always going to go back to, you know, the belief that you have within yourself. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a very big believer now of really understanding yourself. You have to understand your own personality. I do the, the love languages and, and learn about that and learn about what's inside of you. Because many times we're going around, like one of the classes I teach, the black belt of personalities, 
and I'll be teaching a little bit about that on the stage is just having people understand like you have a set of skills that you don't know about yet. You have a set of skills that is, that is inside of you just waiting to come on out. You have a gift that you have. See, I didn't know I had this gift many years ago because it was, it was flooded and drowned out by drinking. But when it hit and the season was right for me to make it impactful to people, it's that, it's that trigger that takes shape. It's that trigger that happens that inside of you is what I want to create. It's what I want to help you with. It's what I want to in touch on and be like, damn, that guy, that guy's speaking my language. That guy, he, he's because let's be honest. I mean, we are, we're all together. We're all different. And so maybe it's a different way that I say it, Jim, you, maybe there's something different on the stage that you're going to say, but it's connecting the dots and being like, man, I can relate to that person. I'm feeling that person right there. And that's, that's what I want to do when I'm on the stage is to be able to relate to you in some capacity that maybe it touches you that you can zone it into your own life. Because when you touch it to yourself, that's when it starts to take shape. Cause if I talk about, I don't know, clothes and interior design, it's not going to mean anything to me because it's not part of my life. But when there's something that happens to you, see, I'm a very big believer that things don't happen to you. They happen for you. And today when we're speaking just now, I get intense about it, emotional about it because I see what it's going to take place. And when we get to sit in that room and those things will be happening for you, they will help you down the road. So that relationship is the biggest impact to make it relatable for them to feel it so they can take it out of this room, take it out of the conference center that you have. So that way they can put it into their life and implement it into life. And it can become a behavior, which becomes a habit, which then becomes a routine. And then it just takes off from there. And we got the four post-conference yeah, live events right. as your lifeline, right? So yeah, that's, that's amazing. You don't see that often, man. Hats off to you for creating that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's uh, I was telling a mentor of mine last week, we we're on a call that when I originally put the impact effect 23 together, um, I w it was just a one day conference. And as I continue to do my research and be extremely intentional by going to hundreds of events and different conferences around the world, um, I realized that in my conversations with the attendees and the peers, right? Cause I'm in the audience at this point, I'm not putting on this event. I'm, I'm observing and I'm interviewing and I'm being extremely intentional about my conversations with people in the audience. And the number one thing is people felt that they learned a lot. They were motivated, but they were worried that they were going to hit another roadblock and they would have to pay for coaching. They'd have to pay for a mastermind. And they didn't have the money. A lot mm -hmm. of people had poured in their last flexible mm -hmm. income to be in that room. And that's what I wanted to change, man. That's my whole goal. Is, is this more money for Jim Morris? Yes. Is this more risk? Yes. Is this more work? Yes. Is this uh, adding team members to make this go, uh, you know, I, I unstitched over the course of the next six months after the event. Yes. Right. All these challenges and I almost didn't do it, but I felt the need because that's the way that I'm truly going to help people based on the intentionality and the research that I did leading up to this. So as yeah, you can man. hear in my voice, I'm passionate about it because I almost didn't do it because it was hard. There was a lot of risk associated with it. There was a lot more money and I have to do this. I have to be intentional and I have to be different because I want to make the impact. And impact effect 23 is exactly that. Impact meaning to influence, effect meaning results. The whole goal and the whole reason why this conference was built was to influence your results in a positive way. And I believe that the only way to do that is to go all in on a kickoff conference, mm -hmm. get you inspired and motivated, give you some new skills, have you leave with some action items and then hold you accountable and give you future lifelines at the four future live events after the conference so you can ask those questions and you can brush up on your refresher from those speakers because we're doing this big, 10 speakers, yeah. one day, special guests. 
We've got opportunities for speakers at lunch if you want, or you can just go hang out and eat lunch and relax and let your brain, <laughs> you know, come back to normal because it's going to be intense. Or you can go and you can go hard and you can go learn and hear more speakers during lunches and things like that. So you hear my passion in it. I'm excited for you to be there. I'm excited. You know, I know what you're talking about. I know we don't want to give it all away, but I wanted to give some people some nuggets today to really start thinking about what Brock Zeven is going to bring to the table and how you're going to impact these folks. So I'm just super excited to have you, brother. And I'm just grateful that we've met and I'm grateful for you and your heart because I know what's in there. I know what's in your chest and I know you're going to show up and I know you're going to crush it. And I know you're going to impact lives. And one of the things that's important to me is I'm putting my name on it. Not only my name, but my family's name, Jim Morris, the Morris family is doing this. And I had to be extremely intentional to put the right people on the stages that are going to make, make the most impact. Several people asked me, oh, who's this person? I haven't heard of that person. Oh, I've heard of this person. And uniquely and intentionally, I believe that the people on this stage are going to make the most impact because of the intentionality and in the curriculum and the conversations that relate to the heart and the reasons why the speakers are doing it, right? Mm -hmm. I love Ed Milet. I'm, Ed Milet doesn't fit into my conference. He's not mm -hmm. going to have the impact that I want. And he may fit into other conferences and he may have the best podcast in the world and the most views, but I didn't feel based on my obs observations of Ed Milet over the last year that he was going to show up and make the impact, right? And it's not about paying him the money or the resources. I can get a direct line to him and I have the money to pay him. Those decisions are so intentional and so strategic and important to me. And I'm just excited, man. I'm excited for the world to see what I've been building over the last year. I, I can't wait, man, because I see you've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, a lot of conference. Every time you're, I had a, I want to have a conference with you like the other week, you're like, man, I am jammed up. I said, okay, when's the next time we can meet? He's like, five days from now. I'm like, five days from now? So I know you're putting your heart, sweat, tears, everything that you possibly have, and it's going to be it's gonna be amazing. I, I, I'm really I, – I've, I've heard, seen a lot of the speakers – I'm excited to be around them, excited for this opportunity. And, and it's going to make an impact on so many people that, that want it, that want to be able to feel it. Because when, when it's all said and done with, you have to want it inside of you. And that's why you, you've had several conversations. Like not everybody's going to fit because they might not want it or they might not align. You know, one of the things John Maxwell told me, it's not all about assignment. It's about alignment. And what I've learned in the decisions I make today, it's who aligns with Brock Zivan, who aligns with me, my morals, my vision for where I want it to go and where I want it to, where I want this to go and be. And it's the same thing for all of us that are going to be there to, that, that on October 27th, man, who's going to align because you will align with somebody. Okay. Just when I was drinking, I aligned really well with my drinking buddies. Okay. But when my vision and in my, my mindset change, I didn't align with them. So I had to pivot and shift and change. And so when you're in a room with so many people that have the same alignment, it becomes overwhelming. It's like, I got this person, this person, and just absorb it, take it in, get people's names. That's why these conferences are so impactful is because you just never know who the next conversation that's going to transform you and change you. And it happens every time when you are open and ready. Yep. I'm with you, man. And the crazy thing about this, Brock, is not only did we curate the speakers and were extremely intentional, but the people that were qualifying to join us and we, we, we refunded a ticket to someone. They weren't in the right mindset to make an impact and feed the room. They were actually a cancer. So like mm -hmm. I've made a dedication to myself and to my ethics that I will refund based on that conversation we have after you purchase a ticket. I don't know if you know this, Brock, but when you purchase a ticket, there's questions you have to answer. And in those questions, if there's any red flags, I'm going to address those when I call you because I call everybody. Another reason why Impact Effect 23 is different is as the founder, I call every single person who buys a ticket wow. because I'm going to sit them next to someone that 
is help, helpful to them grow and their business based on what you've told me during that phone call. So I'm actually curating and assigning the seats in hopes that there's higher conversion for some of these conversations to change your life and to help you in what you need today in your personal life or your business. But through that process, we are making sure the right people are in the room because we can't have a cancer. That's how intentional and how important it is. And the thing that I'm so excited about is not only do we have 10 amazing speakers and special guests, the people we've signed up in the last couple of weeks, Brock, are freaking amazing, dude. Like yeah. someone who makes 50 million a year and is looking for a business partner is going to be in the room. Someone who has made so much money that they're looking to give back and find, literally, this is what they said. I'm looking to find someone from 25 to 35 who I can mentor for free and help me grow a new strategy and a new business. Like, wow people who have 675,000 followers are going to be in the room as attendees, not even on the stage. Right? Like that's amazing to me because it's not just about the 10 people. It's about the other 499 that are in the room and the yeah. quality of that room. And I'm just so freaking excited, man. Like I can't even fathom how cool it is to see the people that are interested that are signed up over the last couple of weeks. And then my conversations with them about how they want to help and what they're looking for. And they want to give back and they're coming into this, you know, with open hands to help, but are also looking for strategic partners and strategic businesses to grow and develop new concepts and strategies with like, that's so amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I don't think we talk about that enough. We all talk about the speakers and like, I love you, Brock, and you're going to bring the heat and I'm fired up, but you're just one piece of the puzzle of why this is going to be different, why this is going to be so amazing. Yeah. And the greatest thing about it is it's in my own backyard. It's in my own community. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. And we, we're bringing people in from all over. We signed up a coach from California. We're bringing in some people from New York this week, from Atlanta, from Florida. So although it's in our backyard and the amazing community is going to be here, we're bringing people from each coast and all over the U.S. because I believe in different viewpoints, in different strategies and tactics and different cultures. The reality of it is, folks, I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, and that culture is completely different than the culture <laughs> in Nashville, Tennessee. Right. So I took that nugget that I've learned over the last five years and I'm like, how do we bring in attendees and speakers from different parts of the United States because they have so much to offer and so much to implement? So to wrap up, Brock, I'm super excited you're going to be there with us, brother. I'm super excited you're going to go into understanding yourself and your personality and how to leverage it and use it to get people the right information to sell more, to impact more and to help more. So thank you, brother. I'm so happy you're going to be there. And thank you for spending time with me today, just talking a little bit about the impact that Impact Effect 23 is going to bring all the attendees in October here in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, man. I'm I'm pumped. I'm so excited. I love your I love your business alignment. It kind of made me think of some of those like dating sites. I mean, what do you do? You see if you're compatible with each other. And then they open up the doors and it's like, oh, it's the greatest thing in the world. And it's just because the, the, the system made you guys compatible to understand each other that said like the sequence shows this, that you two would really make sense together. And you're doing that in a business level yep. to be like, Hey, we're going to have you over here, you over here to do all that stuff. And I was like, man, that's really cool because many times when you have so many people, you can't talk to every single person and you miss out. You're like, Oh, I didn't even talk to that person. Oh yeah, man, he was great. You should have seen her. And it's like, wow. And so by you doing that alignment, it's so cool. I was, I was like, BA, business alignment. That's what Jim's doing. Business alignment across the board with everybody, the speakers, the guests, the people. Hell, it could be the, probably the people like working it too. You, you never know what you got going on over there, Jim. But man, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I can't wait to teach people this formula. It works in the business world. You're, per you're going to have a better conversation with your significant other, your kids, entrepreneurs, your freaking neighbor for crying out loud, because you're going to be able to ask them the right questions to be able to, to, to speak at a higher level, to listen, to understand, man, I'm jacked up, man. I'm all excited. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Thank you for spending some time with us, Brock. And we'll see you on October 27th, brother.
All right, man. Talk to you soon. See ya. Later.